The workload of the judicial service staff at courts could significantly decrease. This is as a result of what the Chief Justice, Gertrude Tokonu, says is the Judicial Services e-justice program transitioning from computerization to full-scale digitization, enhancing the efficiency of the judiciary. The Judicial Services e-justice program is active and upscaling and moving from just having computers for typing and printing in most courts around the country. It includes e-filing and e-payment for court services, e-service of court processes, the management of e-dockets, virtual hearings of cases, and stocking and management of e-judgments through an e-library. We are also working on administrative services that would also be digitalized. At the launch of the association's 50th anniversary, the Chief Justice further assured measures are in place to ensure conditions of service for members are maintained. On assuming office as a Chief Justice, I met the leadership of JUSAC and assured them that the Judicial Service Constitutional Instrument is one of my priorities for assuring better conditions of service. Justice Puamang, who chaired the function, urged the association to devise strategies to ensure the welfare of its members. It is for you to keep united. Because humility can be strength, and you need to be consistent with what you've done for yourself. The national president of JUSAC, Samo Afoteotu, expressed his gratitude for the progress made in the service. We have overcome obstacles, adapted to change, and remain firm in our mission to uphold the principles of justice and fair play. Long live JUSAC, long live the judiciary and the judicial service, and long live to us all. The judicial service staff are responsible for upholding the judicial work in Ghana. In May 2023, the association initiated a nationwide strike over salary reviews, but it was called off within a week after fruitful negotiations with government. Judith Brown, TV3 News.